Hey, what's up, YouTube world? It is your girl here, the Venusian Bull, and I am back with another video in my Planets in the Houses series. And in this video, we are going to be discussing Mercury in the fifth house. All right, so as a recap, the fifth house deals with dating, gambling or games in general, creativity, children, casual sex, expressing oneself, inspiration, sports, entertainment, entertainer, celebrity, admiration, compliments, and the eternal child, okay? So with Mercury in the fifth house, again, the vibrant energy and the expressiveness is always brought through by talking and communicating. You know, Mercury is the communicator of the Zodiac. So if you have Mercury in the fifth house, this is like having Mercury in Leo. This is a very um, commanding, you know, kind of like bossy, you know, um, very in control communicative sign, um, communicative, communicative placement rather. And, um, you know, they're definitely going to believe that they're always right about things. This is a great, um, placement for being, uh, like a talk show host and stuff like that, because that's how you express yourself, that mercury, energy and then it's in the fifth house so you're able to be creative maybe you when you talk you kind of like go off the beating path a little bit um and you know you're funny and you're like witty you know and things like that but I recommend it's probably better to for you to work alone um because <laughs> your energy can be like a little bit overbearing for others you have guests periodically but work alone um this is definitely the writer um, uh, creative writing is like a big thing for Mercury in the fifth house. Um, this is definitely, I would say good screenplay, good, um, like writing screenplays and scripts and things like that. And, um, just writing like, you know, interesting stories, probably good, you know, like fiction, um, just like dating and, you know, different, um, stories uh, of that nature and things like that involving, you know, just kind of having fun and, you know, dating casually or what have you. Um, games, this is somebody that's very big on the games. Um, I, I didn't talk about the gambling that much for the other placements, but um, fifth house energy is always down to gamble. Um, so it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be literally at the casino or it could just be like, I'm going to gamble on this project that I did. And I know that I'm putting all of my money and all of my energy into this, but I know that it's going to do something. So that's very, that's very fifth house. They're very sure of themselves. And Mercury in the fifth is very sure in the way that they communicate with people. They can talk to people. They can be very uh, vibrant in their speech, very much, you know, the life of the party and just, um, they can, mm, they can kind of be like a little bit overbearing, um, uh, maybe a little bit too much. Um, the cockiness of the arrogance could come out a little bit, but they're great at selling themselves. Um, particularly Mercury in the fifth, just because they are great at talking themselves up. You know what I'm saying? If you have Mercury in the fifth house and you have a friend that's always really shy and kind of unmotivated or whatever, that's a good energy to have around that friend. And talk them up, talk about, talk them up of, of their, you know, of their greatness and things like that. But Mercury in the fifth doesn't have any issues doing that um, on their own. I would think in terms of sports, this would be like a really good like sports caster or commentator. Not to say that if you have Mercury in the fifth that you can't actually play sports, but I'm just kind of playing into the whole like communicative aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is definitely somebody who's, you know, big on social media, of course, and always communicating different things, different creative pursuits on social media. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Um, they could be all over the place because Mercury is a very flexible energy. It's a very, it's a very mutable energy. So it's kind of always, you know, a whole bunch of things at once, a lot of multitasking. And they're like, they're like, Oh, I thought you were, you know, crocheting. Well, you, they were crocheting, but now, you know, they want to coach a football team and, and now they, they want to write screenplays and, and now, you know, they want to, um, teach young children, <laughs> you know, so it's always like 
really different kind of creative pursuits possibly for Mercury in the fifth house so they can seem a little bit all over the place um this energy is definitely very youthful Mercury energy in general is um very youthful has that youthful spirit um just probably like a really kind of um even a youthful kind of speaking voice like hi how are you I'm great da -da 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 -da. like just very like that it could be kind of annoying to some people but um it could be like that kind of uh, energy this could definitely be like the fun teacher the fun teacher that always like has the kids like doing things in order to learn and not just sitting down and you know writing essays and things like that or well they they will because creative writing is like a big thing for mercury and leo i'm sorry mercury in the fifth mercury and leo is similar but um but it's all about using your body to you know to do things and doing things creatively to like make you think you remember you know mercury has to deal with thought processes and things like that so it's all about using your creativity to you know make you think and widen your perspectives um, and things like that. So this is also a placement where you may have like a lot of siblings, um, because Mercury does have to deal with siblings. Um, so you also may be a twin or may have twins in your family and you always did stuff and always had like good old time, um, with that Mercury, um, in the fifth house energy. So like I said before, the sun represents the father or the husband, um, or men in your life, the moon represents the mother or women in your life, and Mercury represents your siblings in your life. So you're going to get a lot of information about your siblings in reference to Mercury being in the fifth house. So I would say usually, you know, if unless other aspects deem otherwise, you had a lot of fun with your siblings. You had a good relationship with your siblings because this is the fun kind of like exuberant house for that you learn things from your siblings um especially about how to like express your creativity and not be shy about you know letting that out so um Mercury in the fifth is a cool placement I told you like I really like the fifth house because it's not a lot of you know it's not a lot of negativity in the fifth house although you know it can be oh and if you are a woman and you have Mercury in the fifth house you could have twins you could you could have twins and um so you know or multiples in general so just be on the lookout for that especially if you're a little older and you're doing that in vitro and stuff like that girl and if a transit mercury is going through the fifth house understand that could be twins <laughs> That could be the twins. Um, so yeah, just remember that. Oh, and I just need a quick hit on moon in the fifth house. If you're a woman, um, just know that there's always a, a chance of like some type of complication with children or pregnancy, wherever the moon is, because the moon like literally represents the womb. So just be very protective of your womb, like, you know, a mama is and things like that. So I just wanted to do a quick hit on that. But um, as far as Mercury in the fifth, um, I think that that's all. Oh, in terms of dating and um, like casual sex, casual, um, you know, just uh, encounters and things like that, you're definitely the talkative person. You're definitely probably over monopoli monopolizing the conversation a bit, but um, hey, you know, that's what you do. <laughs> and um, you need to find somebody that kind of meets you uh, on that level in terms of dating, but you definitely love it. You love meeting new people. Uh, you're probably somebody who really enjoys the dating sites. I don't, but Mercury in, in the fifth may actually really enjoy that because it's a way for them to communicate with a whole bunch of people and express themselves to a whole bunch of people in order to like meet them and have them like them. So, you know, same thing with social media. So, um, oh, and like the creativity can also come from doing things in, in regards to anything media related, you know, TV, you know, internet, um, any type of like visual kind of things. They may be like really good at editing like videos and stuff like that. So anything that's communicative in nature, like Mercury in the fifth house would be very good at expressing that and creative with, you know, getting those things out to the people. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video.